Hi, this is David Kay, your button accordion player and successful busker. And this is the video series somewhere here called Successful Busking. And that's what I do. I am able to support myself doing uh, busking on the streets and in shopping centers. And I've been doing this uh, for about 20 years since uh, about 2001 so I guess it's 23 years I've been doing it I uh, enjoy it immensely I enjoy the people I um, I think it's the funnest thing I have done and uh, I've met a lot of people who have who, who, who get sort of wispy eyed and sort of sad and they, they say Oh, I just wish I didn't have to work because I would love to go out and play music or I would love to do stand-up comedy or I would love to do whatever. And I tell people, well, you got to take the plunge if you really want to do it. And if you do take the plunge, uh, just make sure you have a contingency plan in case it doesn't work out as well as you can. Or if nothing else, try to live very cheaply if you can. Now... One thing that's re really important is um, the audience. What kind of audience do you want? I tend to favor young people and old people. Young people like the fact that I'm out there performing. They love it. I was shocked at how much money people have given me uh, in tips for um, playing music they've probably never heard before, seeing me play an instrument they've never seen before. But they enjoy it. And um, I'm happy for that because I like to spread the beauty of music. There's also the retired folks, the people aged uh, 60, 70, 80 years old. In fact, one uh, person was a woman aged 96. And uh, I had played um, a few tunes that she recognized, um, uh, some old uh, folky tunes. One is called um, uh, the uh, Glendyberg, it's a uh, boating song. And another one was uh, Wreck of the Old 97, which is about a train running off a track. And she recognized those tunes. And uh, I have no idea why, because I thought they were fairly obscure. But also, older people have a little bit more time if they're retired. But they also appreciate the live music and they appreciate the connection, the interaction with me and with um, you know listening to the music. And I've gotten extremely generous tips from older people. The audience that does not seem to work for me is the middle class, working class type person. I think part of it is that maybe they resent the fact that I'm out there earning a living this way. Maybe they feel I'm cheating the system or something. Who knows? But I tend not to get very good tips from people aged about 35 to uh, 60. I don't do very well with those people at all. And um, that's fine. I mean, people have their own desires musically and for entertainment and oftentimes these people are working so hard that they don't even have a spare minute so you know tipping me is off their agenda entirely but that's okay I play anyway I continue to play I play continuously uh, as much as I can because if not those people, then somebody else coming out of a store, or going into a, a um, um, restaurant or, or what have you, and they will tip. So that's my particular situation. Now I've found that certain kinds of stores work for me and certain kinds don't. Um, Whole Foods, for instance, does not work for me because it tends to be largely the working class middle income people and they're just not my audience 
So I've tried playing out in front of Whole Foods. Doesn't work for me. But I can play out in front of a pharmacy, for instance, like a Walgreens or something. Works very well for me. I get elderly people who have uh, a need for medicines. But people of all ages need medicines. And uh, oftentimes they're paying in cash. And you know, they might just kick over a little bit of extra cash for me. Uh, there's also situations, uh, certain kinds of restaurants. Um, again, um, I hate to say upper class and lower class, but it tends to work out that way. I can be in front of a, uh, an expensive restaurant and people will tip me. Oftentimes, a spouse or a date is showing off the pers- the, what, you know, their generosity to the person that they're with. Also, the low-priced places the uh, fast food places if there's a place to busk nearby those also work uh, because people who have less money tend to be a bit freer with it they're not as obsessed as the middle class people are i know there's a lot of classism here in what i said but i'm telling you you know this whole series called successful busking is based upon what my experience has been and that um is pretty important also one thing i'll mention is that uh young black men between uh, 20 and 35 are some of my best tippers seriously and um, i always as much as possible i try to say hi to everybody who walks past and uh, even just that simple greeting is pretty important because sometimes nobody will have talked to them during their entire day and I'm the only person who greets them. That's important to people. You know, the whole thing about busking is bringing joy to people. And that's what I hope I do. Certainly, uh, I'm welcome at several stores to play out in front because the uh, customers become very relaxed and they're not as demanding as uh, they would be uh, if there was not uh, some nice, friendly, um, fun music being played. And the fact that it's live is even more to their liking. So that's the end of this particular video. I still have more to share with you. Uh, you can uh, like me and or subscribe, whatever you do. I still have to learn how to do all that stuff. And also um, down here somewhere, Uh, leave comments. I'd appreciate the comments and I appreciate suggestions for future episodes. Thank you very much for viewing this episode of Successful Busking. I'm David Kay.